Welcome to my video on order of operations and why is order of operations so important. Uh, let's start off going over a really easy example and I think it's going to be really clear after we're finished with this really easy example why the order of operations is so important. Uh, let's say we have 8 minus 2 times 3. 8 minus 2 times 3. And let's assume for this example that we need to do the subtraction first. 8 minus 2, the subtraction, that is the first step that we need to do in this problem. And we all know that 8 minus 2 um, is equal to 6. And now that we've subtracted, we can't forget that we are multiplying by 3 on the right side of the expression. So we have 6 multiplied by 3. And we know that 6 times 3 is equal to to 18. So we get a final answer for this problem of 18. So now I want to work out this same exact problem one more time. All right, the same problem we're going to do one more time. So we have 8 minus 2 times 3. So now instead of doing the subtraction first, we are going to do the multiplication first. 2 times 3 is going to be the first step we do in this problem. And we all know that 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And we can't forget about the left side of this expression. The 6 is being subtracted from 8. So now we have 8 minus 6. And we know that 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. So now let's take a look at what just happened. We just worked out the same exact problem two times, except we got two separate answers. And this is not OK in the world of mathematics. One of the nice things about a mathematical expression like this is that there is only one correct answer. This is not open for interpretation. There is only one correct answer for this problem. And this is why we have to have the order of operations. The order of operations allows us uh, to work out any problem and we're always going to, to come up with one answer if you perform the order of operations uh, correctly. So this is my brief introduction. Let's go over um, another example, and this time I'll explain to you how we actually use the order of operations. OK, so in this example, we have 2 multiplied by negative 2 plus 6 in parentheses, minus 6 divided by 3. And if we use our order of operations correctly, there's only one possible answer that we can get for this expression. And I apologize for erasing the order of operations on the right-hand side of the screen. So let me paste them for you one more time. So here is our list of order of operations. And first on our list is parentheses. The first thing we must do is get rid of the parentheses. And second on our list is exponents. If you don't know what an exponent is, don't worry about it for this example. I'll go over them in a more difficult example. But the second thing you must do after parentheses is get rid of the exponents. And then our third order of operations is multiplying and dividing. And after you multiply and divide, our fourth order of operation is adding and subtracting. And if you have any trouble memorizing this, think of the word PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S. That is the first letter of all our steps. P parentheses, E exponents, M multiply, D divide, A add, S subtract. OK, so let's use this order of operations to solve this expression 2 multiplied by negative 2 plus 6 in parentheses, minus 6 divided by 3. So our first step is parentheses. We need to get rid of the parentheses. So if we look at our parentheses in this example, we need to get rid of the inside of the parentheses, which is negative 2 plus 6. Negative 2 plus 6 is a positive 4. And after you finish with the parentheses, everything else in the expression stays the same. So we have 2 multiplied by 4 minus 6 divided by 3. OK, so now that we don't have any more parentheses in our expression, we can move on to our next order of operations. Our next order of operations is exponents. Uh, since we don't have any exponents 
in our expression, we can move on to our next order of operations, which is multiplying and dividing. And notice how we have 2 multiplied by 4, and we have 6 divided by 3. So what do we do first, since multiplying and dividing are on the same level? They're both our third order of operations. Um, what I like to do is I always like to start from left to right. So the first thing I'm going to do is 2 multiplied by 4. I'm going to start from the left and go to the right. So 2 multiplied by 4 uh, is equal to 8. And the rest of our expression is going to stay the same. So we have minus 6 divided by 3. So now what do we need to do? We can't move on to our last order of operation, adding and subtracting, because we still need to multiply and divide. Uh, notice how we still have a 6 divided by a 3. And 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And the rest of our expression stays the same. We have 8, and that is being subtracted by 2. And now we can move on to our last order of operations, adding and subtracting. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. So our final answer for this expression is equal to 6. So I hope this gave you a better idea on order of operations. In my next video, I'm going to go over a more difficult example where we have more parentheses and we have exponents. So stay tuned for that. I really hope you're enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.